I want to greet you and welcome you to the ribbon cutting and dedication ceremony for Via Verde. A beautiful, I'm Adam Weinstein. I'm the president and chief executive of Phipps Houses, which along with Jonathan Rose Companies, our partner, is the developer of this beautiful development done with the assistance of so many of you here in the audience. Um, on behalf of Phipps Houses Board, chaired by Rone Menchel, I, would, I wanted to welcome you and thank you for coming. Um, Via Verde represents the next wave in affordable housing. It combines cutting edge design, innovative public and private financing, smart use of land, environmental remediation, all at an affordable price. Many of the technologies that you've seen around Via Verde used to construct it hold promise for changing the way that we build affordable housing in this city and in the nation, providing better, more efficient, and more beautiful homes for working New Yorkers, 30 of whom are here with us today, I'm pleased to say. I think I can honestly say that Via Verde has changed the way that Phipps Houses, my organization, thinks of affordable housing, and I think changed the way many of us think of affordable housing. We have a very long program today. We have a tent above us on a beautiful day, which is, is awful. Um, but I do want to point out one thing, that the, the site, the, the Via Verde project, you may not know this, little known fact, was a rejected site by the city's housing, Department of Housing Preservation and Development. The city's uh, HPD thought that the site was undevelopable, and that's how we wound up winning it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so with the long program, I'm not gonna take any more time. I'm gonna introduce the 108th mayor of New York City, Michael R. Bloomberg. Adam, thank you. Mrs. Cashin, good to see you. Um, and uh, I just wanted to point out that while I have to leave after this for a uh, uh, Soundview Park celebrating the groundbreaking of a great new facility, Mr. Borough President, that will be my second thing. Are you coming with me? Second thing in the Bronx today. Don't tell me I've forgotten borrow. Two things. But then more importantly, I have arranged single-handedly for the Yankees to beat the Braves. Another thing <laughs> that will take place in the Bronx. I should also mention, all in a day's work, uh, Daryl Towns, the new commissioner and CEO of New York State Homes and Community Renewal. So congratulations. Uh, don't screw it up. Um, all kidding aside, 20 years ago, it was almost inconceivable that the future of this neighborhood would look as bright as it does today. And it would have been pretty difficult to imagine that on the neglected brownfield in the corner of 156th and Brook Avenue, it would one day be one of the most innovative, exciting, environmentally sustainable, affordable housing developments in the nation, if not the world. Uh, the ribbon we just cut officially opens via Verde, uh, but it's also symbolic of the barriers that keep falling as this neighborhood opens up uh, its doors to new possibilities and pushes the dark ages of the past deeper into history. The change that has swept through the South Bronx in the last decade challenges, I think, the very notion of what is and is not possible among urban revival. And investment in high quality affordable housing made possible like the partnerships uh, the, the behind Via Verde has made, been the catalyst. Uh, the safety and assurance of long-term affordability gives a family the ch a chance to build a foundation and start moving forward. Uh, lower housing costs also mean that spending power to support local businesses and pump dollars into the neighborhood economy is greater. And when affordable housing offers benefit, like multiple exposures to let in light, thoughtful construction that draws in the breeze and rooftop green spaces to grow food and cultivate friendships, I think it really does start a life-improving ripple that has the effect, uh, the ability to power a tra and transform not this neighborhood but set an example uh, for everyone else. Uh, that's what we had in mind four years ago when we created the contest to design and build what would one day become Via Verde and be home to more than 200 families. That's why the city through the Housing Department Corporation and Department of Housing 
Preservation and Development through its enthusiastic support behind the winning concept with more than $46 million in financing. And I think it's safe to say the results exceeded our boldest expectations. And I want to thank Renee Ren uh, Menchel and everyone at uh, Phipps Houses, as well as the Rose Companies, for being crucial partners in Via Verde and uh, so many other affordable housing efforts. And also J.P. Morgan Chase uh, for providing financial backing to bring this project to life. The confidence and belief we've shown in the future of this area is a big reason why things are looking up. And I also want to thank the architects at Datner and Grimshaw who provided an award-winning design that has forever raised the bar for green, affordable housing. And I think that really is true. The next guy is going to have a, or woman is going to have a very tough time beating this. Uh, I also want to thank the American Institute of Architects, which joined us in sponsoring the contest to get the ball rolling. And we do owe, I should point out, a big uh, thank you to Borough President uh, Diaz and Congressman Serrano and all the elected officials who go to bat for the Bronx every single day. And uh, Maria del Carmen Arroyo, who's a council member, who's going to talk later. Thank you, dear. I have always been a fan of her mother's, so uh, that's, I go back many generations. Actually, I'm, I'm probably older than your mother. Yeah, I must be. Yeah, got to be. I mean, I've, when I talk to your mother, she thinks she's in her 30s, so I must be. <laughs> Um, seriously, uh, 10 years ago we made innovative affordable housing uh, the centerpiece of our new housing marketplace plan. That kind of housing not only improves a family's financial outlook but also improves the health of our kids and the sustainability of our city and attracts new businesses, new residents and new possibilities to neighborhoods. And over the past 10 years the plan has financed construction and preservation of more than 130,700 affordable units including more than 40,000 units in the Bronx and more than 7,000 uh, here in Bronx Community Board 1. That puts us on a target to meet the goal that we set out to achieve. Thank you, Sean Donovan. Uh, creating and preserving 165,000 affordable units, enough to house a city the size of Atlanta by 2014. Uh, to date, the plan has invested almost $6 billion in the Bronx. And much of this groundwork was laid by HUD Secretary Donovan when he was the head of HPD, and it's fitting that he is with us today. Uh, the momentum was built by the excellent work that continues to be done by the city's housing team, including Commissioner Matt Wumboa of HPD and HDC President Mark Yar. Uh, Via Verde is a stunning construction rich in resources from its green roofs to its community gardens to its gold lead rating. And I want to congratulate everyone that's involved especially the families that will be owning or renting a piece of this amazing building. Uh, they really have an opportunity to share in the great American dream and particularly in the great dream that New York City hopefully will bring to everyone. So uh, I'm off to do another wonderful thing for the Bronx, but uh, my heart is here. Thank you. God bless. It's a wonderful project. <laughs>